What's going on everybody? This your boy Isaiah coming to you from Buckles Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, show all the videos and make sure you hit the notification button on the channel to notify you on all new videos that's posted on this channel. Well folks, we just witnessed the second episode of HBO's Hard Knocks featuring the Tampa Bay Bucks. And I didn't catch the first 30 minutes. I missed the first 30 minutes, so I caught the last 30 minutes. So you guys tell me what happened in the first 30 minutes in the comment section. But I caught the last 30 minutes, and I'm going to give you what I thought about the last 30 minutes of the episode. I ain't going to take too long on this. Um, Jameis Winston pretty much showed some leadership after Ryan Griffin got hurt. Um, and this is the lesson to a lot of offensive linemen. When you don't block your guy, you get the quarterback hurt. And when the quarterback hurt, the team hurt. And Jameis went over there and checked those backup, second string, third string guys over there laughing and giggling. Wasn't paying attention. Jameis walked over there and said, hey, since y'all want to laugh and play and, and, and giggle, Ryan, Ryan's hurt. Y'all have fun. And they sitting there looking stupid like, oh, shit, Ryan hurt. Now, being that Ryan got hurt, his chances of making the team is done. Because Dirk is not going to keep three quarterbacks. He's going to keep another position. Not He's not going to keep three quarterbacks, folks. And I was I was actually liking what I was seeing out of Ryan Griffin. I, I thought he was looking really good. He was moving the team down the field with ease. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be quite frank with you, folks. I think Ryan Griffin would have beat out uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Because Ryan Fitzpatrick, was, he looked really bad that game. Like, he didn't even care. Interception, fumbling the ball. I think Ryan Griffin would have beat him out. But now that he's hurt because of the lineman don't want to block, his chances of making the team is pretty much zero. So we're gonna have to. We, so we basically gonna be stuck with Ryan Griffin as a backup quarterback. And please do not let Jameis Winston get hurt. J.R. Sweezy, Ali Marpet, Donovan Smith, Demar Dotson, Kevin Pamphlet. Don't let Jameis Winston get hurt because if Jameis get hurt, Lord behold, we got to deal with Ryan Fitzpatrick. And we've seen that story on multiple teams, and it don't end well. But anyway, I'm enough of that. But I want to get to the. Uh, the big, the big part of the show, Roberto Guayo. They pretty much showed us how he got cut from the time he missed that field goal. And you heard what Jason Light said. He wanted to cut him that night, but he slept on it. He get, he thought about it again. That that was pretty much his pride saying, damn, I don't want to cut this second round pick. He slept on it, woke up in the morning. His mind said, you better cut this second round pick. And the, admit, admit the mistake. And he finally did. Brought him in the office. They sat him down. They told him, man, inconsistency, man. It wasn't about him being the person. He's a good guy. He's a good kid. You got to be consistent in the NFL. You can't be missing extra points and field goals. Because that game right there, he missed. He cost us four points. So you don't know how this game goes, man. Four point, every point counts. You get an opportunity to kick, make a field goal with an extra point, you got to make it. That's your job. That's all you got to do. Make the kicks. And he was inconsistent. And Jason Light and Dirk could have broke, broke it down to him. It was like, look, man, we like you as a man, but as a kicker, we can't have that. You know, we can't have you making 20 kicks in, the, in practice and then go out to in the real game and people on the sideline doubting that you're going to make a kick. But Nick Folk go out there, they believe that he's going to make the kick. They have more belief in Nick Folk than Roberto Aguayo in training camp. And, and in, you know, more of the story, they, they was feeling Nick Folk versus Roberto Aguayo. I mean... It just came down. It just came down to consistency, and Roberto didn't have it. But he did get picked up by Chicago, so he landed on his feet. We'll see how he do in Chicago. I will keep my eye out for Roberto. I hope he pulled through. Um, he's a good guy, man. He just got to get his. It's mental, man. It's all mental. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, but yeah, they showed the whole thing, man. They brought him in the office and walked him out. Mm. Man, it's tough, man. NFL is a business. This ain't no playground out there. But anyway, on a side note, Joe Dirt, Riley Bullock, that boy is tenacious, aggressive, mean streak for a linebacker, man. That, he make you want to hit somebody, man. If I had somebody right now, I'd hit him right now. That boy get me hype every time I see him talk. I mean, good Lord, his, his presence on the field is so, man, he just like a uh, ball of fire, man. He be ready to knock somebody out every time, and he be talking mad shit. Yeah, he be in, he be talking some mad shit. I like that. I like his I like his playing style. 
he just got to tone it down a little bit. Because I've seen some of his Michigan State uh, college tapes. And he be busting people upside the head and shit. Uh, getting flags and shit. But I like Joe Dirt. Like I said, he going to make the team. But other than that, I didn't catch the beginning. I heard Miko acting a fool. But y'all let me know what happened at the beginning in the first 30 minutes. Because I didn't catch it. But anyway, this your boy Isaiah. Coming to you from Bucko's Locker. Subscribe to the channel, folks. We growing as I speak. Fire those cannons. Siege the day. I'm out.